Disney fan, and I'm talking like real Disney fan, then one, you know about Mary Blair, two, you're obsessed with her, and three, you're gonna love this book. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am bringing you another fabulous art book review. This time it's Magic Color Flare, The World of Mary Blair by John Canemaker. So actually this book is a companion piece to the Mary Blair exhibit at the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. It runs through September 7th, so if you haven't had a chance to see this, definitely go and check out the art. It's one of the largest collections of Mary Blair art in the world, and it's on display for you all to see. I actually went to the Walt Disney Family Museum the week before it opened. I was so bummed because I'm a huge Mary Blair fan, as most Disney people are and I just would have really loved to have seen that. But if you didn't get the chance, like me, to see the exhibit, this is a catalog of all the pieces that are shown in the art exhibit. Uh, the author, John Canemaker, he's actually the curator for the, for the exhibit and has a lot of wonderful history that he's able to provide. Um, he's done a lot of Mary Blair art books. There's another art book actually about Mary Blair called The Art and Flair of Mary Blair that was uh, printed a few years ago, discontinued, and they're actually reprinting it and releasing it next month. So I'm definitely gonna get my hands on that and then I'm going to review that and then give you guys a side-by-side. -side. But this book specifically is about the art exhibit. One thing I really liked about this book is about the first 40 pages are really a biography of Mary Blair, um, specifically relating to her art. Um, we don't get to see other things that she did in her life, but any art that she did, like the main art phases, like when she was at Disney and then she left Disney and then she was doing freelance, um, her college years, that's all there. And it's really interesting because these are things I didn't know about Mary Blair's life and some of her inspirations and you know her art style, how it developed over the years, really, really neat. When you think of Mary Blair, you think of this bright, vivid colors. And initially she really didn't have that, but she went to South America with Walt Disney on sort of a, a patriotic trip sponsored by the government known as El Grupo and that's where she really cultivated this bright colorful style that she's so well known for so it was interesting to see that and also we get to see the progression in her art there's a lot of her early works there and then we see a lot of the sketches and art that she did when she was in South America and then we see her Disney art which of course all the Disney fans are gonna be like oh, must touch must own too bad, it's really expensive, so just own the book and good enough. Now, if you're like solely a Disney fan and that's the only thing you wanna see, I think you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. Obviously, this isn't about Mary Blair's art at Disney, it's all of her art. So there's definitely a good chunk of the book that is her art that was done for the movies, particularly Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, and Peter Pan. Um, she did do other you know, stuff for Dumbo and a lot of the, the package films in the 40s. But if that's all you're looking for, then you might be a little disappointed in this book because it's not 100% that. That being said, I wasn't disappointed at all because I thought her art, just, no matter whether it was for Disney or not, was beautiful. You know, one thing they were talking about in this book is that it was really hard to capture the Mary Blair feel on screen. And so she would give them these pieces and, and Walt would say, "Get do that, do that on screen. And her, her stuff is so flat and Disney's very like rounded and it's that style that everyone grew to love, that it was really hard to do that. And so Walt was sometimes very disappointed that the final product didn't really look like the initial sketches and concept art that Mary Blair had done. Um, I think in Cinderella, they really captured a lot of her, her art stylings very well in the backgrounds and some of the colors. So I think they kind of got to a point where they were able to do that, but definitely it's a small world, which you'll be able to see some of her, it's a small world contributions. And I mean, she basically created the whole thing. Um, that's where she was really so excited because she was finally able to be free and just do what she wants. She wasn't held back by maybe animation limitations. It was just all 100% her. And I definitely think that It's a Small World is the culmination of everything Mary Blair. So one quick thing about the layout of this book, it's mostly art. You have the first 40 pages that's more of a history of Mary Blair. And there's a few bits and pieces of art, you know, interspersed in that section. But then from page 40 on, it's just page after page after page of full-size art. There's occasionally, maybe every five pages or so, like a little blurb that maybe explains like, oh, these are all concept art from Peter Pan. And then you get to flip through those. But for the most part, not very text heavy. It's very visual. So this is a book that if you don't really like reading, you're gonna love looking through because you just page after page. And one thing I really liked is John Canemaker sort of in that biography section of Mary Blair, he broke down 
some of her art and really analyzed it and the colors and and maybe different movements and and how it was telling a story and i think i i don't i don't always look at art that way i just like look at it and i'm like oh it's really pretty but he broke it down and it kind of got me in that mind frame so when i was looking at different pieces he doesn't do it for every single piece it's just a few but then when i was looking at pieces on my own i was able to kind of be in that mindset and like critically analyze the art and see what was going on. And so I thought that was really nice because in many art books, that's not even a thing. They don't break down the concept art, they just show it to you. So I'm going to give Magic Color Flare, the world of Mary Blair, uh, four stars. It was wonderful, it's pretty, it's just, this is the complete exhibit basically in your hands. So if you didn't get a go, this is the way that you get to experience it. Um, the Walt Disney Family Museum really does a great job with their books that go along with their exhibits. The two Snow White books that I've reviewed are like that. They're, they're just filled with stuff, packed with history, tons of art, really, really good stuff. So definitely check this book out. I will be doing a review of the other book, which is being reprinted and updated in about a month, and then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to subscribe for more art book reviews. We've been doing a ton of these recently, and we have a list of books that we're planning on doing, so we're gonna be doing way more, so definitely subscribe if you wanna be a part of those, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite Mary Blair art piece is. I'm interested. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.